All right, wanted to show everybody something uh, interesting here on the MacBook uh, and with attendance. Uh, interesting thing, one, on the MacBook, that just simply with the QuickTime player, you can do a quick uh, screen recording. And uh, so you got your uh, screen recording going, and then uh, show you guys how to do something interesting with uh, attendance. If you have, uh, like me, if you have a couple of sections where you have more than one section in a section uh, in a block, then you can uh, combine them, maybe speed up your attendance. Say, hey, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Say, second block there, uh, journalism and broadcast are in the same block with each other, which is fun in and of itself. Um, speed up attendance, you can have everybody on one seating chart and take attendance for both sections uh, during the same block at the same time. Yeah, Steve Miller joined the class. Good news. All right. Good to see. Um, all right. So go to seating chart design and then let's clear everybody out of here. There we are. Kind of clear the space because we're going to need more seats than that to accommodate both classrooms. Um, and there we go. So you can do rows and chairs or actually configure a uh, configure a layout um, uh, however your room looks. I Just for this, I just do a simple block because I don't really have assigned seats with these groups. They just kind of run wild for me in the best possible of ways. Uh, Alright, add one more just for fun. Make sure I got enough seats for all the bodies and add those in there. And now you have all the seats that you need. If you go up to Edit here and if you click Edit, it allows you to combine um, the classes you have during the same block. So I check that and then uh, let's call this its uh, second block, block two. Get further with the description, whatever you'd like, uh, and then just say OK. And now I have everybody from journalism and everybody from broadcast in the little column here to be placed into seats. And now we're going to populate. We'll do it alphabetically, add them in there, and now I have everybody from both broadcast and journalism that are in this block together. Oh, I have a whole extra row of seats there. Uh, get rid of those. Oop. Stay. No. I want to remove. That's what I want to do. I hit the delete button. <clears throat> so there you go. There's everybody uh, from journalism and from broadcast all in one happy little place together. Save. And now it's saved. And so now when I go do attendance and I go do attendance, um, click on this. I'm doing attendance for broadcast and for journalism uh, at the same time. Saves a couple of clicks and uh, it's kind of interesting. So if you wanted to do a uh, custom design, you can do that too. You can lay your classroom out however you'd like. Uh, I have these three sections of recovery together working as a group. And no, nope, that's not the right one. Uh, we have these guys here. So I have my room laid out. And there it is. So that's what the computers around my room look like and where these students are assigned uh, to their computers. So you can save that. <clears throat> I just got to figure out how to make it open up as my default and we'll be all set. Uh, and so I can simply take um, attendance there for all three of these sections that are, are combined uh, into one. So I hope that helps. New toys, always fun to play with. If you got a question, feel free to email me. Have a great day.